The other time that I pull guard is when I get melted. Being melted is my word for when somebody punches you really hard and it melts you to the ground, okay? You fight long enough, it'll happen to you. I got melted one time in North Dakota. The guy hit me so hard, I saw green for two weeks. If that ever happens to you, go to the emergency room. What I did was finish the round of sparring. That is not good for your brain, okay? If you get melted, right, we're gonna get in our stance on the ground, okay? So when we're standing up, right, I'm gripping here. If I was fighting, he'd be in my stance here, and I've got a hold of him. If we were fighting and I didn't, he didn't have a gi or something to grab on, I'd probably be in here like this. Same kind of thing. And I can still use everything that we did. It's just a different scenario, presents a different thing, right? So if Dylan punches me with the right hand, it just melts me to the ground. Anytime that I go on the ground, I've got two things I can do. I'm either flat on my back because he's close to me, and I bring my knees up to my chest because it protects me. My feet get up high and it keeps me from punching or kicking me in the face really hard. Okay? If he's a little further away, right, I'm going to sit up and get into my stance. So I'm going to sit up like I'm going to stand in base. This is your stance on the ground. This is right-handed because my right foot's down. Make sense? This is right-handed on the ground because when I get up, it puts me in a right-handed stance. So we're fighting. Dylan right-hands me and just melts me. Right? I get my feet up right away so I don't get knocked unconscious. I get my knees up here. They're just like my hands. They're protecting my head, protecting my body. My feet get up high. What I'm looking for now is to get my feet in his hips. That's really the only thing I can do. As he walks me, I want my feet in the hips. My feet can protect me. Okay. Now I need to get hand control. All right. So I'm going to look for the exact same sweep. I'm just going to sit down to simulate getting hit. Both hands go to the same wrist. I'm always going to attack the right because almost everybody's right-handed, and that's the one he's going to knock me out with. He's not going to magically try to knock me out with his left hand when he's right-handed. That's not how our brains work. Feet in the hips, get the right hand, two on one. Get the ankle that's close, left leg to the back, hold, 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 and push with this leg. So hold, hold, and hold, push, put him on his back. Okay, make sense? So I can simulate that he's kind of hitting me and I'm sitting down, or I can get a hold of him, and if I have problems doing this, some of us do, okay? I can just sit, okay? Just sit down, feet to the hips. Switch your hand grip here, here, hold all three and push. Everybody solved with that? Make sense? Good? All right. Grab your